Now, back in episode six, about a year ago, we looked at some research aimed at improving the future quality of our ewe flock. But what can you do now? Producers striving to make the most of ongoing strong demand for lamb want practical hands-on stuff they can do today. Well, MLA has got together with the Sheep CRC to roll out a program to do just that. And as Jane Drinkwater reports, it's already paying off for producers. We've reduced our ewe mortality, we've certainly increased our stocking rate, our lambing percentages are up, and our um, lambs turn off per hectare has gone from 8 to 12, and currently at an average of just under $130, it's made a huge difference to our bottom line. Darren Sherman's reaping the benefits of lifetime ewe management, a program delivered by Rural Industry Skill Training with support from MLA and Sheep CRC. The course has been available in Victoria since 2007, where over 300 participants have gained productivity improvements averaging $50 per hectare, or around $50,000 per farm. Analysis was done by Jason Tromp from uh, JT Agriculting on the first 90 people that went through the course, and uh, we saw significant changes. The, the results have been very, very impressive. I mean, a 30% improvement in the number of lambs weaned per hectare, um, the Victorian example, improvements in uh, weaning percentages um, in the order of 15% and also halving of ewe mortality rates. With a pilot study of 50 producers in Western Australia also resulting in 10 to 15% increases in lambs weaned per hectare, now the program is set to go national. The secret is a multi-pronged approach focused on better measuring and utilising resources. Ewe nutrition is the key. It's measured using condition score, an estimate of the amount of tissue, both muscle and fat, over the short rib, assessed by feeling the sheep's back. Condition scoring is preferred to live weight. Um, one is it's quick and easy, you don't need uh, equipment. Um, but also it accounts for, or it's independent of frame size, the actual front size of the sheep. Um, you know, sheep don't need to be dry, they can be pregnant, etc, etc. Uh, that we actually physically put hands on our sheep whenever they're in the yards and rather than just grabbing one sheep we probably grab 20 sheep and make a, a calculation on what we think the average of the mob is. The program has identified specific condition score targets for set times throughout the breeding cycle. We know that condition score is related to um, the wool production of the ewe, the mortality of the ewe, the birth weight and survival of the lamb and indeed even the lifetime performance of the lamb. So from that information um, we've been able to generate uh, these guidelines framed in condition score. So consisting of uh, three or four different targets throughout the year that farmers need to or can try to achieve. Tools and tables allow producers to calculate the amount of metabolizable energy or ME in their pasture and the energy a ewe needs at each condition score for each part of the yearly cycle. So at any given point, whether it's a dry sheep, uh, through the 150 days of pregnancy or when she's lactation, we know through really good science how much ME she needs a day. We've developed very simple tools where you can uh, measure your sheep, measure your pasture, look at the ME balance between the two, and then we know what to feed the sheep based on your condition score at that time. Before we used to drive around a year and say, oh yeah, well that's, yeah, you know, that's all right. But now we stop and have a look around, a, say a hundred hectare paddock, we might stop three or four times, and get in your hands and knees and have a look. And the savings can be significant. One thing we have done since implementing the program is we've actually cut our, our feed costs back by approximately a third. We've, we've known exactly when to feed and how much to feed, we just haven't, we've known exactly what to do. Part of better utilising feed is identifying which sheep need more and which need less. In a normal mob there's usually a one and a half condition score spread and 20 kilos in body weight. So we can't do anything if we just feed the whole mob. We've got to split the, split the mobs and feed them accordingly. Drafting ewes according to their pregnancy status and condition score can provide better outcomes. Pregnancy scanning can, can certainly uh, return uh, you know, one to three dollars per ewe to put things in perspective in a merino system. And the greatest advantage is it really does allow you to, one, sell the dry, dry ewes or take the multiple ewes off and, and give them preferential management. We were probably underfeeding our twinners and, and probably overfeeding our singles. 
But what was happening is we weren't giving those twinners the better paddocks and the feed that they need to keep their body condition up. And we were probably turning those twin bearing ewes into single bearing ewes the next year. And it's not just those carrying multiple lambs that do better. Those with a single benefit too. And that again can be one of the advantages of pregnancy scanning, where not only do you preferentially look after the the, the twin bearing lamb used to try to improve lamb birth weights, but you can also uh, manage birth weights and ensure they don't get too big in single bearing ewes to, to avoid dystocia issues and ewe mortality. Steve Thompson incorporates preg testing into his operation. We do split them up in terms of singles and multiples and we take the dryers out um, just to manage them differently. We used to be in the 90s in terms of percentage for lambing and now we're probably getting to hundreds or just better in our merinos and better again in our crossbreds. Our percentages when we were just running them as single and twins together would have probably been averaging maybe just around the 120% mark of ewes joined and now we're pushing um, nearly 140%. And certainly our stocking rates have improved as well by, by running the singles harder we've actually been able to increase our stocking rate and our lamb turnoff rates have been much, much higher. It's certainly good news that Australia's ewe flock can be built up using some simple management practices. The end result of increased stocking rates, more lambs weaned and a reduction in ewe mortality certainly will help build capability and sustainability into the industry. Like all things in agriculture, if we don't get better at it, there's not much point doing it because our margins are getting less and less, so we've actually got to try and get more productive. And since we've, we've implemented this program, our turnoff rates have gone up. Um, it's, it's just made it easier for the ewe to produce a, a, a really good lamb for us. The outlook for sheep meats is, is very bright over the short to medium term, and I think it's really important that farmers um, not just focus on price, and thinking that's going to be the saviour, but continue to strive for improvements in production efficiency through better genetics, better pastures and you know, better management all around.